Hey everybody, this is Matt from TechnoX Gaming. How are you guys doing? Okay, so I've got another game for you guys. It's called Battle Right. And it's essentially a MOBA style brawler. That's the best description as, as, as I know it. And I'm not really experienced in MOBAs, but I, I've actually seen it planed. But basically what it is, is you're in an arena and you get five rounds in this arena uh, to battle it out with another team whether it is against other players or it is against AI and whoever wins three rounds uh, in a match wins and you get a bunch of characters to actually choose from uh, right now you've got 15 here I assume that these characters below will be filled out at a later date or you can buy some more because this is the free version and each character has a set of abilities revolving around these buttons and keys. Uh, take for instance Jade here. The left mouse button is basically your revolver shot and your right mouse button is basically a, a sniper function where you deal a high amount of damage to basically a line of sight uh, target. You can hit more than one with this. You've got a blast vault, which basically den den detonates a grenade under you, dealing uh, damage and then also uh, jumping you out of the way of any sort of like spells being cast on you. And then with your Q, you've got a stealth that basically increases your movement speed by 15 and also hides you from the enemy. This is a silence that you can shoot out with this character here. And then these two special abilities basically are stuff that you earn this one is a junk shot, which is basically your shotgun. It basically blasts people back and deals 18 damage. And then you've got explosive shells, which is your ultimate ability. It does a lot of damage and it can basically win the game for you. Okay, so this is basically her set of abilities here. And if you check out one of the other characters, say Lucy here, it's basically a different set of abilities for her. So and in her case she's a support character and she's got a lot of different like healing and shielding abil uh, abilities to basically support your team while they're facing off in a match and so i'm going to guess that when you guys end up playing this game uh you will end up uh favoring uh, characters out of others and specializing in those characters because a lot of the control keys are basically mapped to different abilities um, say, for an example, I told you about the space key here that basically jumps you out of the way of enemy abilities here. Well, this one, the space ability is basically uh, you're throwing shields onto uh, target allies, including yourself. So uh, when you're jumping from character to character, you're probably going to have to practice to be able to master the abilities of that specific character. Okay, so now that I've got that out of the way, just to go over the match again, the, uh, one match is basically made up of five rounds, and each of the five rounds that you have basically allows you the opportunity to take on a battle right, which is basically a, a buff. And these buffs stack up over the time, and I will show you that in just a minute. As soon as it shows up, okay, these are your battle rights here. And for me, I've got basically some support and control. These are randomized throughout the uh, game here. These are no no two uh, sets of battle rights are, are the same in each game. But basically, I'm going to basically... Oh, wait. I'm actually battling as the support character because I forgot to, cha uh, to uh, start as Jade. So we're going to have fun trying to deal with a support character here. So please excuse me if I'm uh, going to be terrible here. But in any case, this is what I'm going to do. We're going to start the match. And obviously my goal right now is to deal some damage and also support this character as well. Alright, 
so. All right, we're doing so good. I can't say it's because of me, but uh, probably the skill of my partner here. And obviously he won the uh, MVP of the round. Okay, so as you can see, the new round has begun. And now I get to choose another battle right. And I want to be able to heal this guy as much as possible. So I'm going to heal, uh, choose the healing battle right. And we're going to try and get used to this more. So they are in full retreat mode here. And not sure what the AI are doing right here. They're probably like luring us into a trap. All right, so we did a little bit of damage there. We knocked them back. And we have one. <laughs> this guy sounds a lot like Optimus Prime there. So we're going to go back and we're do going to do some healing abilities as well, some support. and try to do a little bit better of a job of supporting him. I'm frozen up. I'm going to start out by We got a kill at least and we are done we have actually won the game that was pretty easy actually and as you can see um, my my abilities basically were there to support the other characters and I, I did a little bit in terms of uh, protection I didn't do too much in damage but uh, obviously he was the more experienced of this character, so he got a lot more in score. So let's go back. Uh, we've run three, uh, three uh, matches here, and we get these little experience points here to basically level us up. I'm not exactly sure what that means in terms of uh, the player style, but obviously there's actually um, uh, another leveling system that has to do with the individual characters as well. I'm going to guess that that basically has to do with, um, like, you don't want to start off a new character as level 8 if you're a level, a higher level on a, a, another one of these characters. And the reason is that you'd have to get, get used to the abilities of another character before you actually get good. So let's go ahead and do a battle with Jade real quick. And we will... I'll leave it there. We'll do another video um, in the future because this is actually pretty fun. One of the things that is probably true about this game in terms of the selection of characters is you'll probably have an easier time finding matches in games, uh, quicker matches, if you do things like uh, healing or support because a lot of people probably want to do damage and not as much, many people want to do uh, healing or tanking. I'm guessing that the people who are, don't have ranged attacks basically have the tanking abilities where you have to soak up a lot of damage. But in any case, 
we'll go ahead and start out the game. And I can show you all the abilities. All right, so we're basically going to go straight offense here with these abilities. And I can show you that we have all these things. So we are battling with a tanking character, so my my abilities have to do with basically dealing with a lot of damage, and she basically takes the damage here. Nice. It's too bad I couldn't use my uh, ultimate ability, though, because that would have been pretty awesome. <laughs> but as you can see, I'm a little more, a little bit more experienced with my uh, damage character than I am with the healing character. I imagine that the healing character is not really that easy to... It's a, a more uh, abstract thing to be able to control in this kind of game. Nice. Okay, my my. Oh shoot. Okay. Bam. All right. So my ally lost on that one, but that's okay. We won the round, and she actually got the uh, MVP of the uh, round as well. Waterman. Not sure what is that supposed to signify there. All right. Like I said, straight up damage, and hopefully we basically make a clean, uh, clean sweep of this round. Not doing too bad here. Ultimate ready. <laughs> ultimate, yes. All right. So that was it. My ultimate just basically saved the day there. All right. So I'm going to admit that that was against the AI. And uh, I don't really have time to do a game against PvP. Uh, but uh, in the next video, I will probably do that, and you will see how horrible I am against PvE peers. Because I imagine a lot of these people who are actually good at this game come directly from uh, MOBA games like League of Legends and Dota 2. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed this introductory video to this game, and I will see you guys next time.